Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board certified criminal defense lawyer. And today we are reacting to Elizabeth Holmes sentencing for her fraud activity in the Theranos scandal. But before we get to that, remember, as always, this episode is brought to you by eForms.com. What did I say? I said eForms.com. If you need a power of attorney, you need a bill of sale, you need any kind of legal form, no matter what state you're in, they got it. So if you're trying to partner up with a buddy and, and got a business going and you need a partnership agreement, go to eForms.com. They are awesome. Don't hire a guy like me. Just go there first and cut the middleman out. So Elizabeth Holmes was the founder and CEO of a company called Theranos. Theranos was uh, purported to be a company that would test your blood and you could do all kinds of uh, analysis with it and, and determine if you have whatever conditions. And it was so pumped up and to the point where she was worth billions of dollars and went through uh, Walgreens. Well, every Walgreens was going to have th their machines. Turns out everything, every ounce of what she said was bullshit. And so she was charged with, I think, 11 counts of fraud. I think she was uh, acquitted of four, but uh, convicted of seven counts of fraud. So now when you're sentenced in federal court, the federal court, we don't have any flashy video to show you of uh, what the judge said. But we, what we do have is an interview of somebody who that was in the courtroom. So let's just take a reaction to see what, what he had to say. Everyone just was silent. To see that she was on the, stay, on the stand and she was crying and really kind of begging for forgiveness. Yeah, she did get her chance to speak. And again, we had seen her. So she got her chance to speak. Remember what we call that? We call that allocution. But... You know, it's a little too little too late. I mean, she went through trial. And in the federal system, you get acceptance of responsibility points if you plead guilty. Even after you have a trial, if you don't get up and testify, basically if you don't get up and testify and lie on the stand, you can still might be able to get some acceptance. You get three points reduction. But she was asserting her innocence the entire time speak during the trial and she was quite compelling uh, and at times emotional. Uh, she got up today, gave a much shorter talk, uh, apologizing very contrite to her investors, to her uh, family, to her employees, saying she realized she did things wrong. Um, I, I don't think it swayed the judge. 11 years seems like something kind of on the high side um, from what I've been hearing from, from lawyers and legal analysts. But yeah, it was uh, very emotional and very quiet when she finally got her chance to speak. And even before she spoke, uh, the father of Tyler Schultz and the son of George Schultz, who was right. the investor, Tyler Schultz, the whistleblower, uh, spoke looking directly at Elizabeth Holmes and saying, you know, among the more cutting comments was, you've heard a lot about Sonny Balwani being the bad guy. Elizabeth, you were the Sonny Balwani to my family. Uh, and he so uh, a buddy of mine, his brother, actually represented Sonny Balwani. And... And I think he was swiftly convicted. Eleven years is a, is a decent amount of uh, federal time. Here and here's what happens when you get eleven years. Eleven years, you do eighty five percent of that. So eighty five percent, you figure that out. You don't get a third off like in a lot of state court cases. So if you remember what her quote was, they don't put pretty people like me in jail. That's just that just gives you a little bit of throw up in your mouth doesn't it in a sense i guess she she has a super deep voice like she taught herself how to talk you know so that she'd be taken more seriously by men in meetings and and she, she, no question this this woman was bright but she made a lot of shortcuts and she uh got herself in way over her head lied 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 and created a fraud scheme that was worth billions of dollars she built out it and so when you look at who the invest the victims are you got several different types of victims you got the people who would have used the product you've got uh investors and then you got companies like walgreens and so it's it's really fraud on a mass mass scale so when you analyze you know who's in the wake of somebody's fraud you know a lot of people think, oh, it's just, it's a financial crime. You know, people are greedy. You know, they aren't really victims because they just lost money. Well, Ian Gibbons was her chief scientist, okay? And he 
tried to he tried to do things right. He tried to push back on certain areas, and he wound up killing himself. So that's what you call a direct victim of of her fraud. And then you've got other people who are in the wake, people who are misdiagnosed uh, based upon faulty test data. So when you have a judge sentenced her to 11 years, that's probably not that huge of a sentence in all honesty when you're talking about the the level of fraud that we're dealing with. Saying, oh, so she defrauded rich people. Rich people parted with their money willingly, and they should have known better. But to hear that this young man, this whistleblower, really suffered that consequence and really created a rift in the family, too. It really did. You know, the father spoke about how that rift was caused from grandfather to him, to his son, the Theranos employee, Tyler Schultz, and how it really ripped them apart because they didn't know who to trust. Because George Schultz, who we all know is a former Secretary of State, great, you know, great man in, in, in American history, um, and big time investor trusted Elizabeth over the words of his own son, and that caused a big rift. And so the the, the middleman and all this, the yeah. you know Tyler's father uh, was was quite broken up about this, and he clearly blames Elizabeth Holmes. You know, See, if you if you look at uh, these white collar cases, can have broad, and they usually do because the the white collar cases are never at a, at a small level. Right, they're always at this much bigger level because otherwise you don't have a big white collar case. But when you when we had the Petters case, there's a guy by the name of Petters who it was I think about three billion dollars here in Minnesota, and he he destroyed people's futures. You know, uh, couples that were you know saving for their retirement in, in, enticed to invest with him, and it was a Ponzi scheme. Well, in this case, you've got you know families that are torn apart. You know, from like he said, grandfather to father to, to grandson. So, when you think about dealing in business, if you are going to deal in business, be fair, be honest. You know, don't cut corners. It doesn't take that much to succeed except for maybe just fucking hard work. And guess what? When you're doing that and you're doing it honestly, you don't have to look over your shoulder. What's going to happen to her down the road? She's got, you know, she's going to have to do 11 years. And it's going to be really tough for her to make anything of herself after she's fucked over so many people. So this has just been our quick reaction to Elizabeth Holmes sentencing. Uh, 11 years and uh, and shot to, and here's the other thing, once you get out, she'll probably be. I think she's going to be on supervised release for five years after she re- gets released from prison. So, you know, like there's no parole in the federal system. You do eighty five percent of your time plus maybe six months and a half house. but then you're on supervised release after. You, so if anything happens while you're on supervised release, you can go back to prison. And she's going to be prohibited from being a fiduciary, from uh, opening a business, probably opening lines of credit, that whole kinds of thing. So it really creates a havoc for everybody in their wake, including for Elizabeth. So this has been Bruce Rivers. Make sure you go to Bonfire, get some merch, and stop yourself snitching. We'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you next time. Here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers is broke, that your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self-snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers is broke, that your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self-snitching gon' get you put away. 23-hour lockdown, please, is that my guy?